How do you join data from two or more cells into one new cell? For example, if you have someone's first name in one cell and the last name in another cell, how do you combine the first name and last name into one new cell in Microsoft Excel? Or how do you combine the different parts of the mailing address, like the street address, the city, the state, and the zip, all in just one cell? Well, this is where the Excel concat and concatenate functions come into play. And this video will cover just that. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Concat and concatenate are pretty much the same function, but for different Excel versions, and with a slight difference in the end result as well. For example, the concat function is the newer version for Excel 365, while concatenate is from older Excel versions, but it's still available in 365. And as you might have guessed, both these functions combine more than one cell together because the word concatenate means to join or to combine. So as you can see from this Excel sheet here, it is very common that our collected data is separated in different columns. For example, here's a mailing list with names and addresses. The first name is in one column, while the last name is in another column. And the different parts of the mailing address are also in separate columns, as you can see in this example. And it's very common that you might want this information combined to make a mailing list. So we can simply use the concat function like this under the full name cell. I start with my equal sign, then I start to type concat, and now you see that we have two options, concat and concatenate. If you toggle between the two, you will realize that they both combine cells, but concat has the extra ability to combine a range of cells, and not just individual cells. I'll show you this in a moment. For now, let's continue with concat. So with concat highlighted, I hit tab on my keyboard, the opening parentheses is placed for me, and now it shows that the parameters for this function is to give it different text values, separated by a comma. So for my full name, I want to combine the values from the first name column with my last name column. So I can click on the John cell, then type a comma, which is the separator between cells, then choose the Smith cell, then I can hit enter. So as you can see, the concat function combined both my first name and last name values. But notice how the first name and last name are combined with no space between them? Well, that doesn't look right because it's natural to separate the first name and last name with a space between them, right? So to fix that, we can change the concat function like this. Right after the first name, I can add a space by typing a double quote, followed by a space, then close quotes, then add the comma separator, and I hit enter. Now you see that this full name looks much, much, much better. Now this was one way to use the concat function, and I described this way as a manual way of doing things. So let me show you another easier way of doing the concat function. I simply click on the cell where I want the results to be displayed, then I click on the FX icon, then I type concat, then I hit enter, and I get a list of functions that are a close match. And since I want the first function, which is already highlighted for me, then I can just click on OK, or just hit enter on my keyboard. Let me bring this over here. This is my function arguments dialog box. And here I can choose my cells that I want combined. For my text one, I'll choose the first name. For my text 2, I'll hit the space bar on my keyboard because I want a space between the first and last name, right? Then for my text 3, I will click on the last name cell. And since I'm done, I can just hit enter. And now you see that I combined the first and last name into one cell. And I even displayed it correctly with a space between them. How cool is that? If you want to see the function behind this step, I can simply click on the cell, and up here in the input bar, you can see the full formula. Please let me know in the comments below if concat now makes sense to you, and which method do you like more, the manual way or the dialog box way? Okay, so that was the concat function. 
Now let me show you how concatenate function works, just so you have an appreciation of why the new concat function is better than the old concatenate function. So, I want to combine the separate pieces of the mailing address into one cell under the mailing address cell. I will click on the cell where I want to display my result, then I start with an equal sign, then I start by typing concat, but this time I will choose concatenate. Then I hit tab, then I want to highlight all these four cells for the street address, city, state, and zip. Then I hit enter. Now did you see just what happened? I tried to use the cell range, since the cells are next to each other, instead of clicking on the individual cells. However, instead of combining the values into one cell, the concatenate function placed them into separate cells. So, for cell ranges, the concatenate function will not work the way I would like it to. So, let's see how the concat function instead of concatenate can fix this. So, I will press Ctrl Z so I can undo all these changes. And then I type the equal sign, then concat, then tab. Then I highlight the four cells for the different address parts, and I hit enter. Notice now how all the mailing address pieces get combined into one cell? Pretty nice, right? But there is still the same problem we had with the full name, in that there are no spaces between some of the values. So let's fix that by adding not just spaces but also commas to make it look like a correctly formatted mailing address. I will also show you how to add a carriage return so that the street address is on one line followed by the city, state, and zip on another line. And my ultimate end goal is to end up with something that looks like this. I already combined the first and last name and now I want to combine the address and display the information over two lines because that's the typical way of displaying any address, right? So, I will begin by clicking on the cell where I want to display my combined data. Then I will hit on the FX icon, which is the easier and quicker way when working with this function, or most functions really. Then I type concat, and I hit enter twice to display my function arguments dialog box, as I showed you moments ago. Now for text 1, I will click on the street address cell. For text 2, I will type char 10. This is the text string for a carriage return. Then for my text 3, I will click on the city cell. Then for text 4, I will type a comma followed by a space. Then for my text 5, I will click on the state cell. Then for my text 6, I will type a space which is needed after the state and before the zip. Then for my text 7, I will click on the zip code cell. So that should do it for me, and so I can just hit enter now. Hmm, something doesn't seem right. I did add a cache return after the street address, so why don't I see it here? Well, it's because I need to format the cell to handle carriage returns, and this is easily done by clicking on this icon here. Yes, this looks much, much better now, right? Please do let me know in the comments below if you are finding these little tricks cool to use in Excel. So now that we know how to combine cells and how to display data on multiple lines, let's now combine the full name and full address into a new cell and display them correctly on their individual lines. To do this, I will click on the cell where I want to display the combined data. Then I click on the FX icon, then I type concat, and hit enter twice to display my dialog box. In text 1, I will click on the full name. Then in text 2, I will type char 10, because I want a new line for the address information. Then in text 3, I will click on the mailing address. And since I'm done, I hit enter. 
But notice how the data is not on multiple lines. Do you remember the fix for this? I showed you this trick moments ago. Yes, you are correct. I need to format the cell with the wrap text option. And as soon as I click on it, it now displays the full name and full mailing address in a very nice display that I can work with. How cool is that? Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and press the bell icon. If you want to learn more about Excel functions, you may click on these videos here, or you may find even more videos below in the description. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you in another video as well. Take care, and bye for now.